What's up, fellas? So one of the most popular questions that has been asked on this channel is guys asking me, how do I develop more charisma with a girl? How do I be more witty? How can I be more smooth? How can I stop being creepy and awkward when I'm around a girl I really like? How can I talk to a girl and never run out of things to say? You know, how can I be more confident around a woman? How can I take a girl out on a date? How can I build a stronger bond with a girl? And how can I slay cheeks on the first date? So first of all, let me clear this up to you guys. One of my subscribers asked me, what does it mean to slay cheeks? So slaying cheeks is not inserting your flesh rocket into a hole where fecal matter comes out. It's not putting your flesh rocket into a bungle hole, the stinky bungle hole. No, what I mean by slaying cheeks, splitting the cheeks, clapping the cheeks, dismantling the cheeks, it means getting laid, but there's levels to this shit, fellas. So when you're getting laid, you know, a girl comes over, you know, you do your thing, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and you're done. It's just normal. But when you're slaying cheeks, this is next level. It's like you're unleashing the Hulk and turning Super Saiyan 4. You're just destroying the cheeks. Those butt cheeks are too massive. I must turn Super Saiyan to slay these cheeks. And when you are just hitting it from the back, tick down, tick down, tick down, you are just straight digging out guts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you are just clapping cheeks so hard, man. When she wakes up the next morning, her butt cheeks are so red, it looks like a baboon's butt. Man, you went so hard, man. When she woke up the next morning, it looked like she just got back from World War III. Her hair is everywhere. Her weave is about to fall out of her scalp, man. She, and she needs to be escorted out of your house in a wheelchair. When you know how to dig out them guts, slay the cheeks, right, man? You can get a girl to fall in love with you. So, fellas, that is my short presentation on how to slay cheeks. So, hopefully, I clarify that with you. So, now, to the main topic. So how do you become better with women and attract more women in your life? There's two simple ways. First of all, you need to go out and get rejected. And this is one of the biggest problems that guys have. I feel like men nowadays are just so feminized. They just act like a bunch of women. They, just, they have such fragile egos. You know, when you don't allow yourself to go through pain, and discomfort and when you're soft on yourself you can never grow because our best teacher in life is pain and discomfort when you are hard on yourself when you allow yourself to get rejected go through pain it's a part of life rejection is a part of life and when you are hard on yourself the world becomes easier let me say that again if you are hard on yourself the world becomes easier so I had a Skype consultation with one of my subscribers last night. You know, he told me he's having terrible luck with women. He feels like he's not good enough. Should he just take the black pill? And I simply just asked him two questions. Have you DM any girls on online dating? Have you approached one girl? Have you got outside of your comfort zone and put yourselves out there? And guess what he said? He did not message one single girl online. He does not have an online dating account and he has not even approached one girl and he just feels like giving up already. That is the type of guys we're dealing with. Where is the competitive spirit? Where is the masculine energy? This is what I'm talking about, fellas. I'm sorry, but it just makes me so angry. Just a bunch of emotional, just feminized men just crying all the time and not doing. And let me tell you guys something. The best way I learned was through discomfort and pain. This was my best teacher. Where is your competitive spirit? Whenever I'm playing basketball, you don't want to be playing basketball with a bunch of five-year-olds because everybody can be Michael Jordan when you're playing with a bunch of five-year-olds. No, when I'm playing basketball, I want to play with the greatest. I want to play with the D1 players. I want to be playing with the brothers because them brothers know how to hoop. You know, when you're playing against D1 players, your crossover needs to be more tight. You need to be more assertive of what's going on. You need to make the right play or they're going to bitch at you. 
it's pressure. You're uncomfortable. When, when, when you shoot the basketball, your release has to be quick because these guys are taller than you. This is how you grow and learn. It's when you get outside of your comfort zone. When you're playing with elite players, and then when you go into a normal basketball game, a pickup game, and you just yams, crossover, just doing all these things because you challenge yourself. You get outside of your comfort zone. It's the exact same concept here. If you want to learn game, if you want to become better with women, if you want to be smooth, if you want to turn on that mad daddy seductive mode, you have to put yourself out there and get rejected and talk to women. Man, I was talking to this dude he was writing me an email, oh, how do I be more charismatic with the girl? How, what book should I read? What seminar should I go to? Man, you can go through, you can read a hundred books, you can read, go to thousands of seminars, but if you do not apply the knowledge that you learn from these seminars, it's, it's a waste of time because you're not going out applying it. There's, there's two different things. There's having knowledge and there's applying the knowledge. 100% of the time, those who apply the knowledge will have more success because you're going out there and doing it. While the other guys are just so scared to get rejected, they just want to stay home and just jerk the gurk all day. You have to put yourself out there. It's the law of attraction. I have been through the same situation that a lot of guys have been through. You know, growing up as a kid, English was not my first language. You know, I got made fun of because of my accent. I was terrible with women. Every time I see a hot girl, I would quake in my boots and piss in my pants. You know, and the most embarrassing thing happened to me. When I got my first girlfriend, this was my first love. I loved this girl, you know, but every time I tried to have sex with her, I could not get my flesh rocket to launch. I was just so nervous. It was performance anxiety. And whenever I just stick my Johnson into her Coochie, I will bust in just uh, uh, one second. Suffer from premature ejaculation. And that is the reason why she left me. And guys, and the relationship was so beautiful. Every time I was with her, I would have so much fun. You know, we're just so attracted together. But that was the number one thing that just really tore us apart, you know? And she left me because of that. And as a man, you know, that kind of kills your ego a little bit, you know? But me, I was, I looked at it, man, I was down for like, you know, a few months because I was heartbroken by it. But I'm like, I'm not going to let this situation determine me. I'm going to go out, slay more cheeks and just kind of figure it out. You know, guys, I made a fool out of myself on dates. You know, I failed. I was awkward. You know, I remember this one time where I was at a restaurant with this girl. Man, I was just so nervous that I spilled like this fucking hot soup on myself, man. Just made a fool out of myself. And when I went, when I used to go on dates with these girls, man, I would be awkward. I didn't know what to say. There would be that awkward moment of silence. I became a dancing monkey, an entertainer. I got put in the friend zone. I got my heart broken. But all this stuff that I went through is experience. This is why I can get in front of this camera and tell you guys what I did wrong. You need to put yourself out there. You need to go out and talk to girls. Figure out a way because everybody has a technique. Everybody has a way because it's like the game. It's like the NBA. It's just a strategy on how to get to the basket. LeBron James has a different style of game. Anthony Davis has a different style of game. Stephen Curry has a different style of game. Whatever works for you. You need to go out and experience this for yourself. Go out and get rejected. Go out and talk to women. This is where, this is how you become an abundance cheek slayer. This is how you become good with women. It's just going out and just practicing and talking to girls. And the best way to do it, guys, it's to simply just start talking to like random people. When you go buy groceries, just go talk to the cashier. How was your day? Just that simple conversation. Guys, and it's so easy, but we just kill ourselves in the mind because a simple hello can go a long way. That's how you can meet your girlfriend. That's how you can meet a friends with benefits. That, that's how you can slay cheeks. It's, it's easy, but we just overcomplicate things. Never be afraid to approach women. Never be afraid to get rejected because... A lot of guys, man, are just so scared to get rejected, man. They go up to one girl, they get rejected by one girl, man. They think they scum on earth. They want to run home, lock themselves in the bathroom, sit down, pee, and just think they scum on earth. No, when you get rejected by a girl, man, you got to still walk around like you're the motherfucking president. Don't give a fuck because rejection is looks is all 
in the eyes of the beholder. Some girls might find you attractive and some girls are not. That's just how it is. Not all girls are going to like you. It's like some guys like long titties. Some guys like big booty. Some guys like BBWs. Some guys like big butt cheeks. Some guys like skinny girls. Looks is all in the eyes of the beholder. Never let rejection determine you. Man, you get rejected by a girl, man, you still walk around like you're the motherfucking president. Don't give a fuck, man. Never let rejection ruin your confidence. So, fellas, number two. Number two is very important. You got to stay self-improving and focus on becoming a better version of yourself. Because you cannot attract a girl if you have bigger boobs than her. You got to focus on the self-improvement. Go to the gym. Make yourself a high-value male because the law of attraction. You are what you attract. And I always tell you guys to focus, be focused on your purpose. Find a passion in life. Be ambitious. Be ambitious. Be courageous. That's masculine energy. And when a girl sees that you're ambitious, that you're pursuing your purpose in life, and she sees that you're going somewhere, she's going to gravitate towards you. It's a part of female hypergamy. How a female dates, guys, a girl will never date a guy who is equal to her. A female always dates a guy who is one or two levels higher than her. So if you don't feel good about yourself, how can you attract a dime? Man, you got to stay improving. You got to work on your fashion. What's your skin routine look like? What's your gym routine look like? What's your sleep routine look like? How much water are you drinking a day? Are you just busting, watching porn and busting nuts all over yourself every single day? Man, you got to improve yourself. That's the best way to attract women because a woman likes a guy who takes care of himself. A handsome man, well-groomed, well-dressed, presents himself nicely, confidence. Because when you have confidence, you have emotional strength. What, what is the number one thing that is a woman is attracted to? It's confidence. A man who has emotional strength. Because when you have emotional strength, you can pass a woman's shit test. You don't quake in your boots and cry like a little bitch. <laughs> man, you always got to stay centered, holding a masculine frame. Confidence. That's what woman is attracted to. A woman is not attracted to a guy who is weak. This is why women are not attracted to beta males. Because they're weak. This even happens 10,000 years ago. The strongest men, the warriors, are the guys who are well respected amongst the village. And the strongest guys were always admired by the ladies. You got to be alpha male warriors. You got to not be scared of rejection. You got to stay improving yourself every single day. You got to figure out... If I have $100 in the bank account, how can I make that $1,000? You know, if you throw me into a pit of woes, you know, I'm not going to sit there and cry, Oh my God, these woes are going to eat me. Nah, what you're going to do is how you're going to figure out to get yourself in that situation. You're going to make yourself a spirit and kill those motherfuckers. Man, you always got to learn how to adapt. You cannot fear nothing in life because in life, nothing is to be feared, only to learn. And that's what you guys got to do. Get outside of your comfort zone. Go out and get rejected. Go out and put a dent into the universe. Not give a fuck. Because when you stop giving a fuck, that's when results starts to come. Because a lot of you guys, y'all care too much. Y'all just care too much. Let loose. You know, when you're playing basketball and you're thinking too much, you know, what should I do? Should I shoot the ball? You can't play your game. But when you just focus on the moment... You're like, okay, what is this guy reading me? Okay, he's playing zone. I'm just going to pass the ball. I'm going to get the ball back, shoot the three. Just be focused on the present, man. Stop caring too much. You got to have an abundance mindset, man. When you get rejected by one girl, you meet five more tomorrow. You got to put yourself out there. You, you cannot expect women to fall from the sky. You, can ex you can't expect ass and titties to fall from the sky, fellas. You have to go out and put yourself out there. So, fellas, I hope this answered your question. Don't forget to like Comment, subscribe.